And welcome back to Forge by Geeks, now officially called Forge by Geeks on Twitch, uh, playing Kingdom Death Monsters, People of the Stars. Uh, we are Lantern Year 17. Uh, let me slide these over because that's not visible. There we go. Uh, just about to turn to 18. And uh, just did a pretty basic hunt on a white lion. Once again, we're having problems keeping people alive that have at least one hunt XP, but we want to start farming the phoenix, but we don't want to hunt the phoenix because they die during the hunt. Yeah, if they, they could die during the hunt if we get unlucky. Yeah, so you need at least that one hunt XP. So now we're, we've got back, we're back there. It was, oh god, that... That poor lion, it didn't even move. Yeah. It just Well, I mean it tried to maul us a couple of times, but it was just sad. Yeah, it didn't even move. It stayed in the center of the board the whole time. We it, yeah. <laughs> so that went pretty successfully. Um and now we're back in the settlement and we're gonna see how things wrap up here. So, so survivors return. Yay! Gain endeavors. So we, we get, get four. Four endeavors. Here we go. Uh uh, and now, settlement event. Acid storm. Oh no, that sounds bad. Uh, it's not. I I much prefer it over. You know, this is not even one of the ones that people complain about. Okay, it's not murder. <laughs> uh, the air tastes sour and burns the survivors' cracked lips. The sky cracks in great flashes, revealing spiraling black clouds. Finally, it opens, dousing everything in acid rain. So, roll. Um, great flashes of light. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so you do have to roll. Okay, I do have to roll. One die? Yep. Any bonuses to it? Nope. <laughs> Two. Good enough. Oh. <coughs> the survivor with the highest insanity, randomizing case of ties, runs into the storm bellowing wildly. They must stop the next one. Okay, I've got three over here. It does not say returning survivor. Yeah. So. There, and Lincoln does not have any. Uh, got a four. Did What was your max? Three. Four. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and the rest of you people are disturbingly stained. Terrible. Okay, so what do we have to do for tiebreaker? Uh, randomize in case of ties. Okay, so what are the two characters' names? Blue Crate and Jade Noble. Okay, Blue Crate is the white guy. Okay. It is Jade Noble. Good, because they're retired anyways. Yay! Don't even care. <laughs> okay, lingering effects. Um, oh, that would have been useful. If we'd rolled a six plus, we would have gotten a scrap. Now, what would have won then? Each returning survivor must archive a gear card of their choice. Oh, fuck us. Yeah, it would, oh. it would be recoverable, but it would not be great. Oh, just fuck saying. us. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, yeah, I'm just looking at the gear and going, no, that would have sucked. I would have just tossed the clawhead arrow on this character and maybe a monster. I would have tossed person. the bandages. The problem would have been over here. I would have tried to toss, like, the monster tooth necklace or something. Yeah. Okay, um, lingering effects. The storm prevents music endeavors, so we can't do, like, drums and stuff. The okay. The storm inspires. Add plus two to the result of all art endeavors, which means if we wanted to face paint, Ooh. Uh, we would have a better chance. That could be nice. Okay, we have two special endeavors. First endeavor, Acid Storm Exercise. Requires nightmare training. One through five, the survivor is burned to death. Six through seven, you are injured and must skip the next hunt. Eight through eight plus, you gain the following ability. Acid Palms, add 1d10 strength to wound attempts when attacking with fist and tooth. That is really useful, but... It's low um, chance. Hey, you've got a 30% chance, 8+. plus. It's not that bad. That was actually. my same odds of rolling a crit. Uh-huh, and yeah. I, yeah, I didn't roll a crit the entire combat. Okay, uh, we do not have cooking, so we cannot do acid storm distillation, which would give us a 60% chance of gaining a founding stone. And what would be the other chance? Nothing. Okay. Okay, so... I mean, of all the things in the world that we could have rolled, that was fine. Yep. Update death count? Nope. Update timeline? We are now Lantern Year 18, I believe. Yep. Okay, I will update that on screen quick, since XSplit is once again cooperating with us. Ooh. It happens periodically. Yay, cooperation! <laughs> yeah, I really wish we'd celebrated St. Patrick's Day more seriously last night. Yeah, um, we could do that tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Though... I really don't want another hangover. No. Just a note, I'd like to celebrate it, but I'd like to 
not quite fully commit. Yeah, yeah. Um, you bastard. I don't I get hangovers you. at all. Thank you so much. Now, to be fair, in my family runs alcoholism. On my father's side, there or not my father's, on my mother's side, there is a history of alcoholism. And I think it may be related to the fact that apparently males on my mother's side never get hangovers. Yeah, well, but the thing is, is that what this actually means is I wake up in the morning, I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, and you're like, did we drink that much? I feel fine. Like, <laughs> really? Like, you have a hangover? I didn't think it was that Well, the bad. first time I drank, like, pass out amount was my 21st birthday. I was a firefighter then. The firemen all took me out, and they literally, by the way, brought with, um bags of, uh, of uh, saline in case I got alcohol poisoning. Yep. <laughs> no, firefighters are great people. Um, and yeah, I ended up passing out at the uh, fire department because, um, yeah, just did. They decided to wake me up in the morning by setting off all of the sirens on all of the rigs. And it wakes me up and I get out, I come walking out, I'm like, hey guys, what's up? And they're like, how's your head? And I'm like, I'm fine. And they're like, oh, you're joking. No, I'm fine. And they're, and like one of the guys does like the eye check with the pen light. And he goes, yeah, he's fine. He doesn't have a hangover. Son of a bitch, they were all pissed. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, back to the game. Well, one brief thing. Happy birthday, Bargy the Bear. Oh, it's Because if you're a... celebrating the birthday, then, you know, oh. might as well celebrate it. So happy birthday. Yay, congrats. Okay, so... Hopefully younger than we are, or at least younger than we feel like we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so develop time. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so, these are all the resources we have. Right? Um... Yes. Okay, so first... That's it. First thing is, what's our goal? Do we want to try to get the iron... And the and and the leather possibly and other you stuff. You say iron, but we can't have iron. We only we, have two scraps. We can do scrap uh, smelt. Yeah. Yeah, scrap smelting. So the question is, what what is our uh, ooh thirty six yeah. field twenty five? Hey, he's doing a lot better than I am. Yeah. Um, do we want to do scrap smelting and mostly focus on getting scrap to try to get the the sword? Or do we want to have babies? Or do we want to try to power up people? Or do we want to innovate? Do we even need to innovate anymore? Um, so innovation, we still have some nice innovations that we could get. Um, Scarification, not useful. Nope. Forbidden dance, not really useful. Partnership, pictograph, that would have come in handy. Running away is actually kind of useful. Yeah, that could be useful. Um, pottery, survival limit. Mm -hmm. uh, cooking, survival limit. Uh, storytelling, survival limit. Bloodletting, not so good. Save us if we get plague. Yeah. Uh, shrine. Um, that's additional armor. Additional armor could be useful, and I seem to remember the extra shrine consequences or something good there. Song of the Brave, not really useful. Uh, Song of the Brave and Memento Mori have some benefits of the Mori's. And Bed, Survival Limit. So we're looking at a lot of Survival Limit. Um, if we... I would say we're safe to innovate if we want to. It would take a hide, but we have... We're doing good on hide. If we made leather... We could pump out all the leather we would need for the uh, plumery stuff really easily. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not worried about that. So do you just want to innovate? Um, I think it could be useful. If we get the Song of the Brave, we can get a Saga, which allows all newborn survivors to gain two hunt experience. That could be useful. So Expe they all start with an age. Yeah, that could be useful, especially for uh, um, helping us fight the phoenix if we need to. Yeah, but then again, how many more babies are we really going to have at this point? Exactly. I don't think it hurts to do one innovation. Okay. So let's do that. I'm just going to spend the three cat resources at it. Okay. Okay, so need to shuffle this up. We draw four, correct? Yes. Two, three, four, five. Yes, we six, have symposium. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven cards currently in the deck. Okay. And I believe three of them would add extra consequences. The rest no. 
Oh. Yeah, our settlement do is doing quite well. Yeah, the only problem is I really i am worried about the fact that we lost our constellations. Yeah, I am too, I, especially the tank character, the Rust. Mm -hmm. Being our tank character, that was the most important, I felt like. Uh, I think the witch was going to be more important in the long run. Possibly. Okay, Forbidden Dance. Okay. Which would be mostly add the extra cons uh, consequences. Cooking. Okay. So that would enable us to do the Acid Storm thing. Yeah. Um, And a Survival Limit. Scarification, which I don't think we really give a shit about. No. The Luck would be nice, but eh, not worth it. And Partnership. So, I think it's Cooking or Forbidden Dance. So, Forbidden Dance gives us a chance of special encountering a nemesis, if we wanted to. I don't think we want that. Yeah. Um, the other option is... Uh, so, what was the other one? Cooking? Okay, Cooking doesn't have any benefits, but um, it... Well, it does allow us to trigger the cooking thing, and it, and does it gives allow us, us to try to do and that. And it gives us a survival limit. Yeah. That's the bigger thing. Um, there is partnership. It would cost two endeavors. Um, when they both depart, they gain two survival, and while adjacent to each other, they would gain one strength. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's that useful. Cooking it is. Cooking! I think that's the first time we've taken cooking since, like, one of our first game sessions. Yeah. Okay, then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so we do have the Cyclops fly, but we'd have to hunt the, uh, the Screaming Antelope in order to get uh, the other materials for cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because the Cyclops fly can be used for cooking. Can you hand me the... Uh, the... Main book? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so we've got three, so we spent an endeavor. So we've got three left. Do we just at this point want to focus on getting scrap? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, um, so I do Umber, or who was it? There's a small chance for Umber to build up the Courage. Really small chance. Mm -hmm. So I can lose up to two survival uh, going for Scrap's uh, scavenge with him. We'd need an Eye of Cat and a Phoenix Eye. And a Fresh Acanthus. Yeah, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. What would that make us? It would get us a permanent accuracy on any survivor. Yeah, Which that's... would allow us to trigger a... Uh, constellation possibly but since we need to have weapon mastery or, or and that courage. just gives accuracy mm -hmm. I just have one of the people eat the Cyclops fly and 50% chance of getting the accuracy mm -hmm. and 30% chance of dying mm -hmm. <laughs> that's I, I think that would be a better use of it if we, if we were looking at that yeah it just prevents the possibility of them dying yeah okay so I will do the first scrap cell uh, scavenge yeah we think it probably was before the, uh, we probably only took it in one of our non recorded Yeah, yeah, games. it was before uh, we recorded. It was one, I think it was our very first game where we made it past, like, Lantern Year 3, uh, yeah. with our, before we started streaming. Yeah, and then we realized that, like, the amount of resources that you need to actually get cooking to work is really harsh. Yeah, I'm hoping they update cooking for 1.5. Yeah, the benefits are nice, I guess, but they're not really so nice that I'm like, oh man, I really want cooking. I really want my, that to be my innovation. I really want to spend endeavors on it and, like, gather the stuff for it. Okay, so scavenging with Umber. Okay. Four. I lose a survival. Okay. That was the first endeavor. All right. Second endeavor. Five. I lose a survival. I am done scavenging. Okay. I am at zero. So, I don't have any characters that can specifically benefit from getting courage. Really? Um, like, there are characters who could get courage, but like... Who's that one with uh, almost maxed? This is Periwinkle, and, um, oh, whoops, um, 
uh, Periwinkle, like, is the closest to getting Oracle. Like, well, they can't get Oracle's eyes. But it may get a benefit from it, and so... And they can't get pristine. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not going to benefit from that regard. But I don't want to get it on uh, Magenta, because that would set up Magenta for Goblin. Yeah. So... I would say we just put it on uh, on Periwinkle to get the uh, tr see the truth, and maybe okay. get a benefit out of that. All right. Okay, so we've got one more. So give it a roll, because obviously I suck at that. Nine. You gain a broken lantern. Okay. Now, that was our last endeavor, so we aren't doing anything with those broken lanterns this time. But we've got th so we've got three broken lanterns then. Mm hmm. Um, where did I put the basic resource deck? I am good. I lost the deck. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, I put it back. It's an amazing concept. So we've got three broken lanterns. We've got two monster hides. We've got a lion tail and a cyclops fly. Okay. Oh, you probably want the lion tail in that deck. Yeah. And the vermin goes in there. Okay. I built the... <laughs> Yeah, oh god. Yeah, we actually did that once. I crit with the tooth and nail. And tore off the poor testes. balls. Yeah, I try not to think about that one too much. Hey, I don't think that oh, you were didn't, dismembered. Didn't Shut Up and Sit Down do that too, they were saying in the review? Yeah, I think they did. <laughs> hey, Toa, thank you for joining. Unfortunately, we're just wrapping up. Yeah, like at least our uh, Kingdom Death stuff. Like, are yeah, we? He's oh, not here. Oh, I... He didn't make it back in time. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, but... I um, were really hoping to do Pathfinder tonight. Yep, but... so just a reminder, uh, we put up our first Gloomhaven video. So we'd love to have you check out the Gloomhaven uh, video and uh, hear what you think about that. And we may put together a little uh, overlay just to show health and XP. We're thinking about what we would even do with an overlay with Gloomhaven because it's not really friendly to... To it, I guess you could say. There's so much going on that it's really hard. Like, for instance, the fact that your HP is sort of like what's in your hand plus what's in your discard and not what's lost, except yeah. there's also HP, and it's complicated. Yeah, so I think just tracking main HP and then the XP you earn, that would be the only things I could think of easily throwing up on the screen, unless we do the web coding, but the cards are so visible mm -hmm. with that game. I'm not worried about people can see the numbers and everything are so big on the cards, you can see them on the screen well. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, we think we might do something basic with an overlay, but it's it, not too much. Oh, we thank you. We lost two constellations in the last game, so that was, that was yeah. really sad. Like, this time we didn't lose any, but we're not sure we're going to be able to get any more. Yeah. So. Okay, so, um... Yeah, other than that, uh, one other just little side note, um, I've got a code game creator uh, that should be going on Kickstarter in about another month, month and a half. Uh, met him at Gen Con, played the game really great. If you haven't heard about it, it's called Dwarven Smithy. Uh, really, really great game. Some of the best art I've seen around, especially for an indie. Uh, Go if, you, if you're looking for something new, uh, go check it out and uh, uh, possibly consider him when he goes live on Kickstarter. He's uh, probably going to be sending me a copy to try out sometime in the next four, four or five weeks. And uh, we may do something, a short video for that when it comes out. I'm but, assuming that's a competitive game? Um, no, I think it was more, it was like, um, if I remember correctly, I may be mixing up with something else. But from what I remember from Gen Con, it almost felt like Thunderstone. In a sense. Okay. A little bit like Thunderstone meets Munchkin. Hmm. Um, so, but it could have evolved since then. It's That yeah. was that was a, a while back, almost a year. So, um, thank you very much. And uh, also a reminder, we will be doing People of the Sun immediately following this one. And thanks for joining, and see you next yeah. week.